On the way to Wadi Disa, we decided to stop by Abu Raqqa. This place has some attractions for us. There is a rock arch, there is a mushroom rock, and there are also a lot of interesting petroglyphs which we want to explore tomorrow. We have had our breakfast and now we're going to go and hike up that mountain. There is an arch up there. So let's see what view we get. If you ever decide to visit this arch, there's an amazing seat over here from the front side of the arch and from here you can just see the entire view.
in the wadi there is a farm and it has some sheep dogs and i think they caught something trying to kill the sheep there is either a fox or a wolf and the dogs were chasing it away and i think it might or might not have died because uh we heard like sounds of a fight and we also heard like yelping noises like it it got hurt we're going to try to go to the top of the arch i think there's a way to go from here but it seems to be kind of difficult so we'll see if we can make it wish us luck You can see on top of these sedimentary mountains there are these layers of this black and very tough rock and it naturally breaks up into pieces like bricks and even the old uh, ancient people they use these type of rocks to create the ancient stone structures and uh, uh, and burial sites You can see all these brick shaped rocks like these that one there and over there So now we have climbed to the top of the arch. Over there you can see the mushroom rock and our campsite. Over there we're going to be crossing this wadi to reach some amazing petroglyphs. They're very interesting, so make sure you stay tuned. It was a very nice hike and there was amazing views but now we're just going to pack up the tent and we're going to set off across the wadi to go towards the petroglyphs Oh shit battery is gone No Um uh... That's okay. not This is a problem. Um the battery it seems completely drained out because we left the key here by mistake. It's a new battery, but what we do? We are not far up from the village of uh, Buraka also we saw some farm here some vehicle will come to the farm 
but before that we have something which might work this is emergency jump starter this one so we used this once in a in a food desert and it worked that time that time we didn't shoot anything because we were very panicked we were very scared that it would start or not and it was summer time today it's a bit okay even if it doesn't start we can camp one more night here so we connect plus to the plus And then you start it. Wait for because it is almost completely drained. Wait for maybe two minutes. And then just spray and turn the key on. So it's been around two minutes? It's about one minute so I'm a little bit impatient so let me try if not then we'll wait for another one minute okay no nope. everything was on oh. yes <laughs> good product exactly so yeah time to go across the wadi to the petroglyphs that was actually quite scary but uh, at least we had the equipment for such a situation we always keep it with us, but we haven't really had the opportunity, thankfully, to try it out. So yeah, it's a good thing it worked. Now we're just going to continue on our journey. If you're thinking about a hole in the mountain it's like a gateway and you can go to the other side of the mountain and actually there are even some very old petroglyphs here so let's go and take a closer look so here we have a very interesting petroglyph. There's a horse, a person riding on it with a spear. So like this is some sort of hunting scene. Even here you have some very interesting rock formations. Okay, that was a nice little stop. We saw some very nice petroglyphs as well as that hole in the mountain. So now we need to go on our journey. Oh. 
so over here you have this very interesting like rock structure this outcrop of rock actually looks like a human face just coming out from the rock and you can see all the details like you can see the mouth you can see kind of like the eye shape the nose it's very amazing We have arrived at this mountain and there are some very interesting petroglyphs up there. Uh, you might be able to get a glimpse of them. But first we're going to have lunch and then I'll take you up to show the petroglyphs. We had quite a nice lunch and now we're going to go and hike up the mountain to the petroglyphs. So come with me. Wow, you can see this extremely flat wall of rock on which the petroglyphs were drawn. Actually, there were more like rocks with the petroglyphs on them, but they actually toppled down and you can see them, they're right here. A lot of these petroglyphs are very interesting shapes. All of these petroglyphs are very interesting. You can see that this is a very long and wavy snake. Above that is a horned animal, probably an ibex. Some more ibex and they're actually like a lot of different types. There are some ibex from the side profile there's even like the skull and horns of an ibex you can see this small stone with the petroglyph on it it fell all the way 
from up there. This area has a lot of rock art. You can see some hunting scenes over here. This is a person with a bow. And over there you can see the petroglyph of a camel. You can see that all of these are very discolored. So that means they're extremely old. There are even some on this side. This surrounding area of these mountains is completely full of petroglyphs and we enjoyed looking at them and exploring them. We were actually looking for one particular petroglyph. It's like a carving of a human palm print and it is actually supposed to be on top of that mountain over there. But when we went there, we were either very unlucky and weren't able to find it or there's the possibility that someone took it away or like it got destroyed because when we went up there we saw like huge slabs of stones overturned and like moved here there some of them were broken like something was destroying them so yeah, we weren't able to find that specific petroglyph, but we still had a lot of fun exploring this amazing area. Now, we're going to be heading to the road and we're going to go to Wadi Disa. So stay tuned! <laughs> 